All right. The Witch, which is spelled with two Vs. This, of course, is a period piece where you have a relatively, I guess you might probably say, closer to, to puritanical style Christian family that gets kicked out of their, their little fellowship area. They then set up shop at the edge of a forest, which may or may not be haunted by a witch. Now, with the title being called The Witch, you could probably safely assume that there's a witch. What they do nice about this film is it's a slow burn. So you learn way more about the characters than you ever thought that you would. And the things that happen are just creepy and random enough, and the reactions feel genuine, which makes these films actually work. The problem is, is this is a film where since it's a slow burn, if you don't if you don't get sucked into the film and try to understand the characters and their motivations, you're not going to enjoy it. And that's just natural to all slow burn films. <clears throat> so is there a witch? Yes, that's why it's called the witch. I don't feel like that's a spoiler at all. The weird random things that happen and the reactions to them, that is the majority of this film. It is something happens, there's a reaction to it, then there's the next day, then they're still trying to deal with what happened the previous day, then something happens. And then it hits the point where crescendo's towards the end, and the end is actually pretty good. The problem with slow burns is you do hit a point where it's, you know, you've taken us through the slow teasing process. You know, when it comes to that reveal, that reveal needs to work. And this one actually does. If you're not a fan of slow burns, run away. This this film is a it's a slow prodding. This isn't a sprint. This is a ginger walk to the finish line. Once it gets close to the finish line, it starts to pick up speed, but this is this is a slow burn film. <laughs>